And welcome back to the world tonight. It's an historical day in the making. Kentanji Brown Jackson is now the first black woman nominated to become a Supreme Court justice. Jackson is expected to meet with senators next week. A common practice for nominees, qualified and capable. Two words used to, des to describe Judge Kentanji Brown Jackson, nominated by the president today to the Supreme Court. If confirmed by the Senate, she will bring to the high court what it has lacked for 233 years. Think about that. The lived experience of a black woman. Now, those words expressed by political strategist Joteka Eady, if confirmed, Judge Brown Jackson could have the power to impact generations to come. Talking about how this will matter for those younger generations. She's joining us now. And, you know, our nation... Uh, Joteka is divided because of race or politics. Today we have a nominee who very well may transcend both. How important is that? I think it's incredibly important. And I absolutely believe that Judge Jackson is going to be a unifier in this country. I think it's hard for anyone in America to have watched Judge Jackson address this nation today and not felt some bit of inspiration. So much of her story is the story of so many Americans and particularly black women. She is not only someone that will bring experience as a legal mind and a legal scholar with a deep understanding of the constitution and years of experience on the federal bench, but she will also bring the lived experience of a black woman. She will bring the lived experience of someone who grew up being told that she shouldn't set her 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 vision too high. Uh, she understands what it means to be overlooked or pushed to the side, and she will carry that to the U.S. Supreme Court along with uh, so much of the excellence and the remarkable career that she has had as a jurist and a public servant to this country. It's It's indeed a very beautiful and an inspiring day in America. And, you know, uh, one of the questions that comes to mind is that this is not a diversity hire or nomination. We seem to have that already with Justice Clarence Thomas. Uh, black people need a, a beacon on the high court when it's time to weigh in on cases that impede upon our civil rights. Will we see that in here? I think we look at Judge Jackson's record. She has a deep understanding. She is someone that brings to the court, if confirmed, uh, with nearly 8.9 years of service as, as, a, as a judge uh, on the bench. Uh, she will bring to bear uh, to the court uh, more experience uh, than and more years of, of service on the bench uh, than four other justices combined. Uh, so with that, she is going to bring a very wide understanding of the rule of law, a very deep understanding of the Constitution. And, and, and again, uh, because of her deep experience uh, and the work that she's done with the U.S. Sentencing Commission, her work as a federal public defender, I think she's going to be able to see uh, so much of America uh, in the cases that she reviews uh, because she has that lens, she has that that worldview, and, and most importantly, she has that lived experience. And I think that is going to be important to have that representation, to have that viewpoint on the U.S. Supreme Court. Very well said, and I know you're very excited about this. Uh, just uh, I got to let you gloat for a little bit and, and celebrate this. Tell me how it feels. It feels good. It it feels, you know, I've cried. I've I've had tears of joy. I, I'm on I'm on the West Coast. I'm in LA. I literally woke up at 4 a.m. this morning because I could not sleep because I had so much excitement about what was going to come today. And I think for so many black women and so many little black girls, what they will see in Judge Katanji. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Judge Kataji Jackson uh, will be just a beacon of hope. Uh, she will be a reflection. She is someone that will show us uh, that for so many years, for 233 years, as I said, the U.S. Supreme Court has liked the lived experience of a black woman. And, and for far too long, uh, that U.S. Supreme Court has had a cement ceiling. Um, and today that ceiling has been just shattered into a million pieces. And, and I just feel incredibly honored and proud to be able to witness that today. 
Rateka Edie, political strategist. Thank you for joining us this hour. Appreciate your call.